Hello. After plowing the land and making sure it's as fine as my land is, don't mind the the green uh, the wheat that I've been plowed in. Um, at the moment, I'll be using uh, furrow irrigation, and those are the steps I want to give you how to make now the furrows uh, before planting. Uh, yes, if it was, uh, if I was to use rains or it was a rain-fed uh, kind of farming, this could be, be a very dangerous uh, type of plowing because one you can see the farm was full of weeds and uh, now if it rains everything will germinate again. But now uh, here we are using for irrigation and we are not going to plant tomorrow. So we will leave this farm as it is for a while. Then in one week's time we will come planting. By the time we plant all the weeds will have died because already we have raised them upside down. They cannot feed well because their roots have been disturbed. So after a short period of time these weeds will die. So at the moment after now making sure everything is done the way it is you go to the furrow section and so many questions have been coming all have been raised through my inbox and through the comment section how I do my furrows after making sure you have a very fine till then with the same same tractor with the same same uh, disc plow of the tractor that way that what we use uh, to make furrows and making of furrows will now be brought in by which crop you are planning to do. For example, in watermelon farming, my fallows are always two meters apart. If it's another crop like uh, tomato farming, the fallows are supposed to be one meter apart. So it will depend, and if they are vegetables, they can be even shorter. I don't think there is any crop that takes uh, a wider, wider wing of fallows, uh, wider than watermelon. So I think the biggest I've done is watermelon which is 2 meters and now I want to show you how this follows and uh, how everything is being done. Yes, how to make the trenches and how to make sure you have the best depth because the real thing, the, the real, uh, uh, the reason to why the reason why we are doing furrows is in order to hold irrigation water. That is the main reason. If the, you make your furrow sh shallow, it will hold less water. If you make them deep, it will hold more water. Also, it will depend by the crop that you want to do. You cannot make uh, it very deep uh, with uh, uh, crops like watermelon because you'll end up burying the seeds. And the more you bury it during irrigation, the, le the more days it will take to germinate and sometimes it take, it, it fails to germinate just because of burying it. So let me show you how the tractor is doing the follow for me after the transplanting. So it, it's a very simple uh, thing. Yes, like I told you, just make sure your soil is very fine. As you can see, mine is very fine. I, I wanted to, 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 to farm like Fodder crop, cow fodder crop, I do not have gone for the farrow. I would have come just uh, broadcasting everything and making sure uh, everything is done the right way. This is an example of how fallows are supposed to be done, but this is the fallow. It was just a demo demarcation of uh, this farm when the turtle was flying because it had demarcated them in protection. Like the other farm, so we see how the turtle is doing the fallow. The tractor, the, 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 the jembe, the tractor plow is cutting the fallows. You can see it yourself. That's now how it's supposed to be done. By look of this, uh, I told you it's one meter from one section to the other. From this edge, like this, I'm doing it the African way, don't mind. One, two. So these fallows are in two meters. 
So what I'll do next from here is coming, uh, blocking them with a few questions and making sure now I have good water on the uh, basis. So, Uniform. The spacing has to be uniform because of one, the crop that we are doing. It's not watermelon, it's butternut. A family of watermelon. Don't you can see yourself. We are, we are doing follows of, of a spacing of two meters to two meters. Then after that, we'll block them into sections from one section to the other. So, that how simple uh, it is to make fallows using uh, using a tractor after plowing. You can leave the land. It's not a must. You do it the very same day. You can leave it for it to for it to settle for 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 some few days. Then later come do your fallows. But because of the now the scarcity of the tractor, we end to rush and make sure everything is done and it's done on time. Uh, we've just completed plowing the land. Everything is as good as you can see. A good plowed land. A good plowed land as you can see. We went to the second step of making the furrows. Furrows were neatly made. And uh, just a reminder, just a quick reminder. My furrows are in two, uh, 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 two meters apart from one furrow to the other. So you have to make sure, depending by the crop that you're doing, you give a good uh, a good distance. Uh, if you're doing onions, you're not going to give such a big distance. If you're doing uh, cabbages, you're not going to give that big distance. But for the watermelon and for the butternut, they take the same distance and the same uh, crop uh, distances. So we are going to maintain the two meters like the one we are, we are used for the watermelon. And now, the most interesting part is now when it comes to make basins. Uh, in farming or when you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are you are in farming business, one thing or the science behind it is, is water management. And the reason to why today uh, we are doing the basin is one, in order to be able to manage water well and in order, in order for our crops to have uh, sufficient and enough water. If it was rain fed or some other people don't do the blocking, they just use the old tunnel. As you can see, it's a very long tunnel, almost 200 meters from here, from one edge to the other. So uh, we want to avoid that because one, economics of the amount of water we are using and to make sure, because the land is also, is also not very flat, to make sure, uh, to make sure that the plant that you plant have enough and good water so i'll show you how it's being done one my fellows are always into three meters and unfortunately today i didn't carry with me the 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 the, 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 wash, the, the tape measure but you know we as farmers we have the we have, we have the measuring tools with us so we usually use our our, our strides that approximately a meter so make sure from one edge to the other, you, you measure it well. So it will be from this section, set two meters, three meters. So from that edge there, I'm going to block uh, my basin or the tunnel is going to be blocked into two meters. And now I know you're asking where will the soil come from or where will the blocking uh, part come from? Now, what we do when you reach at this section, we use the soil that is inside the, the tunnel. If it's not enough, you can get some few soil from, from above there. The soil, you use the soil. And make sure, you know, this, this, uh, this blocking or this budding, this head will be here for, for at least three months because uh, that's what that's the, the the shelf life of the crop that we are going to. so it it must be strong enough to make sure it holds water make sure your your your, your tunnel is is strong enough
and from this edge here where we started you are not going to only block the middle part from these edges here make sure your tunnel also has a good starting point because the essence of doing this the essence of doing this is to make sure it holds water Sometimes we are forced to remove the soils that is inside the tunnel because we want it, uh, we want a deep and a good tunnel that will hold enough water for as many days as possible. And with this soil, red soil, uh, Ted, not to hold water for a long for, for long days or for many days so you have to uh, you need to have a, a, a good holding basin so already we made one this is our first basin and as you can see it's allowed uh the depth of the basin is allowed one foot which is very good i don't see the need of doing a deeper a deeper uh basin than this one because the deeper the more water and also the plant you know uh, the, the roots of the plants that we are growing will not go deeper. It's uh, the fibers or uh, a shorter tap root. So you don't need to make it uh, more than uh, the, the one that I've done here. One foot is enough. And if now, 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 there are the other mistakes that we usually do uh, making basins and there, there, there are shallow basins. One, if you have a shallow basin, uh, the disadvantages of having a shallow basin is it will hold less water that is not enough for the plant and that is not sufficient, which is a big disadvantage to, uh, uh, from that. So, from the first basin, you do another three strides up to this section. You repeat the same. Sometimes you are forced to step inside. It's not a crime because all that we need is a good holding water basin. Is a good basin that will hold water. Make sure it's very strong. It's very strong. Because uh, water from this section should not come to the other section. Each and every section should hold its water and enough water. Then you do another one. From this edge here. The tractor did me a very big favor by plowing deeply so it's very simple for me to do them it's just getting a huge piece of soil from inside here very simple for me Yes, you may ask yourself, uh, it looks very simple and very easier to do them, but there, there are several factors that you need to consider before now uh, doing the basin. One is the tractor that you use or the machinery that you use to plow the land. It has to plow deeper so that it can be very easier for you to make the basins. Uh, because one, if it was uh, a shallow plowing, we, it will be now very hard and not as easy as it looks for me during making them. Because, uh, like, also, for like, also a type, the, the type of soil that you're using also is another factor. If it were for the black cotton soil, sometimes it becomes very challenging for, for, for a tractor or for a machinery to go deeper than, 
this red soil so also the type of soil that you're using also is a factor when it comes to red soil and sand soil they are the best for them to do uh, the basin but now when it comes to water holding capacity they have a, they have very low water holding capacity you need to keep watering them each and every time the big advantage of black cotton soil is the water holding capacity now but when it comes to the machinery it's it, it's very stressful so uh uh in 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 farm work in in the farm or when you are you are you are doing your your, your farm job uh we usually have two two things that we, we look at one is the mondays that you are using the people that are working for you and also uh the time that they are they are using so you need to make the job as easy as possible and uh, so that the guys that you are working with, uh, the job uh, you are working with can find it easier when making such thing because time is money, and that's what we are competing against. Until next time, you stay tuned, you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue learning together. Bye.